Team Liquid are loaded up on the stage and about to face off against enemy esports for our first game of the day. Yesterday, Team Liquid's reign with their jungler in support. Great calls right now, kind of playing around Team Liquid. They may lose the pressure on this and turret as the TP comes in. Full dive. Enemy's still going to want this. A hook onto Expecial. They get Howling Gales. They have the protection of their turret, but is it going to be enough? Expecial took that first aggro, I believe, for a shot, then Dominate, and they are just nicely in and out on that. Will they attempt again? Quas, the Arcane Smash to take the first aggression. Turret's oh, on him pretty so hard. Clean. Quas is going to go down on this one, though. He stayed in for a little too long. Couldn't get the Twisted Advance down to break the aggro. And it's going to be a one-for-one one there with one spawning already. Here comes Body Drop back from the dead. Uh, yeah, I didn't quite see how he got aggro, but Phoenix is level six. Ooh, very close. The flash out from Trashy. Good thing he held that earlier on the gank to Phoenix. And oh, Whoa. the TP coming in. They actually think Trashy's going to be able to provide enough help here. And they may be right. Phoenix is low on mana. Can't provide too much. And it looks like they're still going to brute force the turret down. Quite a bit of chaos there as Team Liquid's able to dance around it. Yeah, and but... Back to Dragon. Really big... Really big miss because oh, yeah. they burned the Sivir alt as well. So Oh, you're right on that. Yeah, this means Team Liquid is kind of free to go in. This will also mean if enemy doesn't want to go for second dragon, they go. There's the last. Bounced out. Last breath doesn't actually do too much damage. Enemy is taking quite a bit in the middle, though. Dominate and Quas able to just beat tanks on the front line. Phoenix in a good spot. Red card's out, but it's still going to be enough to keep himself alive. Have a lot of gold sitting on the map. If they could drop a few turrets right now, it'd be a good surge for them. But I don't Ooh. think they're going to be reaching that go. at any point. Dominate puts himself in a 4v1, hoping hoping for enough time for the team to join him. Quas now puts himself right in the middle of the fire in the cooking pan. Dominate jumps in. Phoenix on the backside. I don't think he is actually going to go down. The Zanyas is there. Dominate now to peel for him. Pops up flares. The team is working perfectly, communicating on every priority target that they need to hit. And now back onto Otter. They get a bit of speed there i believe a talisman of ascension coming in from a special to finalize that last kill the triple going over nicely to piglet and that was just a beautiful fight from team liquid uh, go with the 13 wins to get that first round playoff by oh let's see how they can counter engage this one it's the ulti in last breath onto a special but that was quite a bit of damage right back onto him inox is now finding himself in a bad situation dominate going very very deep still tanking the turret gonna get help from phoenix now dominate oh, can stay man. alive in this get the Storm Shield over from Ix Special as well. Piglet going a bit too hard in the base. It looks like he's going to have to wait for the team to get out of this one. Had to respect the Twisted Fate all wow. for his own life. As well to control. They'll see this fight before we talk about that last one again real quick. Flares getting I hit get up. There's the Fate's Call. Fate's Call pops up everybody in the oh middle of the fight. Goodness. And they just wipe out enemy on a bushwhack. Oh, man. Wow. Ix Special was... Yeah, that was great. That's a 14,000 gold lead right there, because honestly, if they have a fight where they are able to lock them down like that, it would have been good if the gold was even, but the lead is just too <laughs> massive for Team Liquid right now. Piglet, Hurricane Bloodthirster in the midst of them all. He's like, well, I thank you for putting me in the middle of the team yeah. with my Zeke's Herald Assisted Lifesteal from my support. I didn't even see that. They have a bit too much money now. A surplus yeah. in cash and items. Liquid, 25 minutes, something happening here in week eight with these games being under 30. Teams are ready to get to the Nexus and Liquid will do so here just at 26 minutes. They're gonna finalize a few more for the KDA as they go on to the Nexus. 17 to one here. You're running Liquid in Fantasy, you got a big smile on your face. Team Liquid, take down enemy. Yep, 26 minutes and 10 seconds. I think that's the second fastest game we've seen yeah. in the split thus Wowzer. far. Uh, Team Liquid, though, mainly taking care of business. Maybe. This is a game they were expected to win. Look at that. We'll find that power, and we'll see if Cloud9 can make it three wins in a row as they take on Counterlogic Gaming. Cloud9 are now just one game behind. He plays it, and already back on a double lift again. Aphromoo gives a shield out, and that's all he can do. Yeah. So Sneaky can just dodge out on the Howling Gale immediately. Just trying Oof. to keep the wave away from their turret, but oh, now with Mantra. the assistance, the slow can make the spear land. Now they have to watch for Rick Smithy. Oh, the Fates call oh. takes away the explosive cast damage. Teleport, though. Very well timed. They're in a bad spot for this one. Looks like they've already been able to split it. Zion's Spark coming in, slicing Maelstrom goes down. First kill picked up. He can tag one more if he gets the storm mark on, but it's not going to be it. Balls actually comes in very strong, and with Incarnation having Command Shockwave up, CLG starts to back off as he walks towards the top lane. Crazy Zion stuff. Spartan has the greater impact with his teleport. He's already got the mark. Oh, he landed the stun! If they do get the stun off, not going to be much follow-up from the rest of the team. 
and there's no Scythe Stone yet on a Nidalee. We may not see one, so maybe there's an opportunity to find those things. Oh, Possibly no turret for Zion. Slicing Maelstrom will stop some of the damage. High stays out nicely long enough so he doesn't get marked up too much with those marks of the storm, and they make it out. A kill on the Zion Spartan in the top lane, and I was going to wonder. Basically not there, right? I thought Paul Belter goes aggressive. That gives Incarnation a lot of room to walk Whoa! around. Oh, nice shockwave! He turned it around! One. Incarnation looking to make the plays. He's in the minion wave, but he might have it. The flash forward, not there. What a play with the Ignite still up on that one. Paul Belter didn't get a chance to barrier there. Cloud9, however, are going to converge on that and see what they can do. Yeah. CLG is behind the curve as far as playmaking. They're trying to make up for it now, but they're chunk low and engaging a fight. C9 still has to work as a team, even if they feel like they have the advantage going in. They Ooh, get, get outed by Counter Logic Gaming. Balls is in there by himself. This could be the command shockwave. No, it's already been used, remember, just in the previous fight. Ultimates down oh, spear here. Landed. 630, that's gonna be a hit from Double Lift actually to take down Dragon. Counter Logic Gaming now bouncing the entire team of C9 back. A good off from Polk. Shockwave! Ultimates. He goes down! Oh, the spell shield. Flash from Zion Spartan and the Spell Shield coming in from Double Lift saves their grasses. And they're now about to get out of this one. 19 on... The only thing they're really behind on this game is the Dragon. They're off mm -hmm. the turrets, kills, and gold. But they don't want to overcommit to this because that would leave them open to Baron, and they also lose wave pressure, but it does look like they prepped this pretty well. Can they get a pick? Oh, Flash well. still down. Afro Mu gets hit immediately. So that's within five minutes. They are continuously going after him in that cooldown. Dragon's alive, like you said. Stopping number three is quite big, so CLG can't start to turn on that Baron butt, or that Dragon butt. Where CLG, five. they needed to be more of a team. The squishy guy without Flash shouldn't be the first one into ward. It should be your tank jungler. Instead, Cloud9 going for a flank engage. A lot of pings from Zion. He's in the pit behind the entire Cloud9 team, but he can't seem to get his ult on. It's already been used, and it didn't provide much. Cloud9 fought Zion in his slicing Maelstrom while keeping the rest of CLG at bay. He wants to shock wave. He still has it. Close. He's waiting for that. He's seeing if he can bait out the shield. Gets it. And Pobelter's flash. Uh, instead of that, Spectre's cow for balls. But that's a discussion for another day. CLG move their move speed to go in. Incarnation. That's going to be the focus they need. He does not have Azania's to be used in this one. And CLG start to find their priority targets. High is going to be next. Emperor's Divide. Do they still have the vision, though? Over the wall. It's the soldiers that give it to him. Pobelter gets what he needs on that play. Now on to balls. Power Logic Gaming find the perfect fight once Zion Spartan had his flash up to engage it. Just like that, a massive gold deficit and they get a four for zero. That's one of the things that happens. Talisman for Lemon Nation had been burned in the previous attempt. Right. Uh, I, I think he didn't have it up there. No righteous no. glory. Incarnation caught out first, so no shockwave coming through. Nice initiation. Smithy, though, going for a pick right now, I think. Oh, boy. Even though they're not necessarily grouped up. What a strange start, but they might get Incarnation again. Oh, wow. It Mission Impossible, it's Smithy Whoa! going around the Shockwave, hits the rest of the team. Very nicely keeping Zion Spartan out of range of Incarnation, but they have to use a lot now to get up. Pobelt are setting up base in the mid lane on the side of Cloud9. That might be enough to just start wiping out the team. They get C9 so spread, they don't even know how to reassess and get back into the fight. It was very unexpected too, because Doublelift was pushing the top lane while that fight was happening. And, oh man, they're just gonna continue to dive. They have so much strength right now. What? Well, that can only happen a few times. I'm yeah. sure C9 will be looking oh, for it again. Speed. Especially if they just go straight on a double lift. He's going to be flashing out of the initial twisted advance that did connect. And right back at you. Turn in. Zion Spartan, no flash. Gets twisted advance by Balls. A great stop of the slicing Maelstrom. The Inzani is coming out to stop the command shockwave damage. And Smithy doesn't even take that much. A nice pop. That's the hit coming in from Pobelter. He goes down in his attempt to get the fight in his team's favor. Counter Logic Gaming and C9 now staring eye to eye. Trading blows back and forth, but yet only one person has fallen on both sides. The flash from Lemon Nation over. It looks like they finally broken apart in the fight. Zion Spartan could lag a, two, a few more tags of the storm. He backs off. What a fight! Breather. He's already in a position yeah, again to make the same fight happen with move, less well, summoner spells. There's no turrets in the mid lane, oh, so they can is. just go. Why wait? You don't have to. Into double lift. That's a spell shield. Twisted advance can happen a lot, lot or a lot quicker than spell shield can. A lot but of shields on him. Get to balls. They can't help him. He flashes out. The shockwave goes in as well as the fates call. They're gonna get knocked up and popped up. 
but when CLG hits the ground, they're running and gunning for oh, the, the members of the nine. Sneaky, can he get the red buff? Gets the movement, gets the speed into the brush, uses the arm, and he gets the kill. High now on the bot side. One spear kills Aphromu. Double is keeping him safe though as the bodyguard. And again, Cloud9, as soon as the batting order comes back off, they're right to the plate. And CLG has lost this one. Just awesome team fighting we're seeing in this game. The double zonies as CLG tries to die sneaky. The shielding of Incarnation. Incarnation flashing over wall to get the angle and provide oh the shield. Oh my wall. god, you gotta be kidding me. And this, that's probably bare. Double wants to make a hero play, but dude, you are outnumbered. One versus three. Outnumbered, outclassed in a 3v1. Difficult to do, but an attempt that almost had to be made by Double Lift. 40 minutes on the clock, Baron. I guess for the flash of incarnation. Yeah. Good call. So that means Zion Spartan could still this flash blows on him. I can't see them disengaging this fight fully. It's a here. tight corridor. There's a Talus. Oh my gosh, what a Howling Gale. Cloud9 oh. does not want to get trapped in a tight corridor with those CCs, but if oh. it's spread out like this, that's kind of what they want. Can't just fight the Callista like that. She's going to dodge you out, but High tries to go into the backside Ooh. with balls. A bit of a mistake. That kill did not cancel out anybody. They are going to keep alive here. Aphromu can still add some shields from the backside. CLG now on to Sneaky, and Cloud9 continuing to try and pressure the Sneaky. fights. Sneaky, however, could be alive. He gets oh. locked up. A last mark of the storm from Zion Spartan to shut him down 60 seconds across the board on the clocks. They're going to start pushing down the mid lane to these inhibitors. What a fight. 60 seconds, 48 on high, but it's a jungler and a top laner. They grew, but you can still see with that, it's not happening at the right time. They it's have the Callista to secure. The fight. They oh, can yeah. secure with it. It goes down be so fast. Lemonation also picking up a Ludens. They're getting Gotta a go bit fast. damage from the support here. Gotta go fast. It is low. It is down. It is sneaky. And Xmithy dove in. He tried. Karma goes down immediately. Lemonation cannot start to shield the team, but that's a good hit from High. He takes down Xmithy. Pobelter pushes everyone in the pit, but I don't know. They may be able to fight from here. Oh, now they the are trapped. The soldiers, however, they are just creating a needle pit right now for Cloud9 to sit in and shredding them to pieces. Double lift getting kills. Zion Spartan and the rest of the team playing that one nicely once again. That might be game. Cloud9 got trapped in a corridor. That's exactly what they didn't want. It's just sneaky alive. Can he be a hero? Yep. Into the minions. Nice job there as well. Kind of prevented him himself from getting locked down with the marks of the storm. Maybe a bit of a breather they have. Double Rush it. hour versus sneaky. Yeah. Right now. I think they can't go for it. Because of the Zion Spartan kill. Zion Spartan got a little bit ahead of himself going for the early inhibitor. Did not expect the home guard sneaky, but it's still 45 seconds and a minion wave for CLG. They're going to try for it, Jack. They are absolutely going to do this in the eyes of sneaky. Nice they they got to go. They're going to go to the turrets. That's they it. That's it. Absolutely zero him out. They knew the play all along. They were putting the pieces in order and they checkmate Cloud9 after 50 minutes. That kill breaks the even score 22 to 21. A hard fought battle. Down 5 oh. gold twice in the game. CLG Whoa. takes out Cloud9. We said that every time Cloud9 plays CLG, it's going to be a good one. And this may have been the best one we've ever seen. It's time for our third match, Team Dignitas versus TSM. Both teams are tied for fifth place, but for TSM, they need a win. He lane farmed up two vision wards for him. They're making sure if they need to get in a position for vision. Well, they, they are the prepped here. Yeah. They had no Big turret either. An advanced flash. Yeah, very, very far up for this engagement. Dignitas getting a bit of what they want. Maybe. Uh, turtle? I mean, Jinx already went down. I thought they were going to come up with a kill for themselves, but Lust Boy gets the Storm Shield on, and now nothing that Dignitas wants. They're going to have to move out of that. Good summoner heals and spells used. So it's really on TSM to try and force a fight. Yeah, I like what TSM has done here. There we themselves go. Around. Kiwi Kid gets blasted out instantly. Like you said, Jad, that one target completely displaced and followed up on by the carries. Taken out, and it looks like they have a good attempt here to force Dragon and force Dignitas into something they don't want. Dyrus, Vengeful Maelstrom is on, and that's going to be enough to stop the pursuit of Dragon for Team Dignitas. Gamsu on the other side. Can they get anything in? They cannot. Still try, though. Why not? get themselves under control once that happens in the fight. So far, TSM has only been able to get to a fight twice here. Now pressuring fight number three it would be wow. Baron. Yeah. 26 I mean, and a half minutes. Honestly, this has been prepped a couple minutes ago. They know the scrying over is down. Sure. They have the vision control of the area. It's actually a really smart call to go for right now. Jinx Rocket scouts, and they get the Baron. 
second oh, kill. That's a fast Whoa. and dead thrash. TSM's gonna kill the entire rest of your team by the time you get Dyrus even down to 10% HP. Kiwi Kid, the flash, and the box goes up. The hook can't follow. Too many minions in the way, so they've gotta get themselves around. A kill onto Santorin may do a bit here, but they turn it right around to Gamsu. This fight not looking good as Dyrus TP to the top lane to make this fight happen. The hook to Turtle stops him from adding the DPS in, but they have the targets they want, and it's not looking good for Dig. Oh! Hey! Turtle on the flash! Hey, that's why you don't flash in. That's why you don't flash in. Flashing away at the last second. To live. It doesn't look like he wants to take 100% of these, but look for the option still. 8,000 gold lead now for Team Solo mid. They're using this power to absolutely shred through the members of Dignitas. Kiwi Kid has really been able to attack nope. so close, but he gets taken down by the Living Artillery before it comes in. Yep, and then the turret goes down. And oh, it's Helios going in hard. Helios tries to make plays, but he's instantly picked off, instantly peeled off. The same with Shifter in the mid lane. A much different game for Dignitas than yesterday, as TSM was able to take an early lead and control it now. They start to tighten that stranglehold on this game. These minions, they're gonna do it. We got everybody elixired up here, coming in on the side. A team solo mid. It looks like Iron Elixir's almost across the board, except for Bjergsen. Helios tries to get into the middle of the fight, but he's instantly taken down and cooked up. Core JJ takes another shot. The flash in. Oh, Dyrus on the fountain lived from the laser. A double kill for Turtle as they end the fight. As they get on the Nexus, they charge the fountain. 10 to 1 as TSM takes down Team Dignitas. Yeah, and even though it felt slow and methodical, any of the game at 35 minutes is actually yeah. above average yeah, shorter games than TSM normally plays. So that just kind of speaks to the cleanness. Team Dragonites versus Team Impulse in TDK's window. Doing just fine in the beginning here. This uh -oh. mid lane though, there's a lot of much longer flash pulverize. There's the headbutt ninja. Uh, that didn't last too long, freak. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Doing just fine. They are. Gonna be a difficult one. Here comes the dive. Steals off Apollo. Headbutt pulverize with a lot of damage. Flashes for then the pulverize. Oh wow! Does Never got a chance even to fool. Get to try it. Oh, Sarah's so gonna pull out. No, he doesn't. He's just out of turret range. Wow, really save for Seraph. Impact level six, Chilling Smite's in. Flashes a ton at the right time, and still more burst and impact is gonna be first, not first blood, first kill for TDK. It is. All right, all right. Ooh, oh, too flashy. The kick flash is nice. Ninja <laughs> low on health, but no ulti up either. Rush getting burst out, and Kez on this at least two kills in a row for the team, and he's chasing Xiao Wei Xiao. The man's got flash, gonna have to use hey. it. Cooked up in one second. It's up. It's plans, up. plans, watch out. Oh, all right, out he goes. They're making it work, man. Shao Shao bought a soul stealer, and then they tried to pull off. Okay, never mind. Bottom Goodbye. Lane. Goodbye. TP flanked by Seraph. Level seven, Vladimir. Not exactly the best flanking champion, though. Oh, Bartle. He hits Rush though, and Rush's W is down. Well, Cocoon missed time, but no chance for Rush getting out. Kez gets his first kill of the game. He's been involved in all three. Rush wants in, there's the ward hop over. Seraph does have flash. Flash is early enough to not get kicked any farther away, but the taunt comes oh. in. He never sang when cool. The cooldown was, I believe, available, but they kind of get kidding. They want to knock impact down. He's only a couple hits away from going and getting killed. Kez with the Q, a couple more hits will do it. The shield is on, auto attack does it. Thank you very much, Runeglaive. Gate forced to ulti to try to stay alive. Still more burst coming through. That ulti ends in about two seconds. Oh, uh, uh, too early with Sindra ultimate. They'll still get him, though. Yeah, but Kez is hurting. <laughs> and Kez, 2-0-3 on this Elise. The first pick of Elise, by the way. I mean, it's working good. It is. Very well indeed. 2-0-3 for Kez so far. Want to see him go AP. A ball is going to chase him down there. Maybe he gets his first death. Shen's joining Bartleti. is about in range. Ninja dodges the taunt, but he has nowhere to go. Kez running, running, running away from Rush. Apollo gets slowed down. No and he's out. For a kill. Kez is gone. He Coon survives. And he's on the run. Oh, a Q flash, but Shockwave catches him. Nowhere to go. Apollo gets the kill. Nicely done. Right here. So is Gate. Uh-oh. I mean, maybe. Oh, God. Kicked up. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Ah! I'm sorry. He's trying to get away. Smoothie. Oh, no. Emperor goes down to Apollo with the Shen ulti. <laughs> Port ready, so if they find anybody 
split off. Sever ultimate will initiate. Oh, There's Gabe. And engage. Shen'll be on on top as well. Engage not even taking damage here, but a nice, perfectly timed stun. The kick over the wall. Kez gonna be actually all right. He repels away, and Rush has to run, run, run for his life. Ninja killed Apollo. Trades back on a Kez. <laughs> a two for one in favor of TDK. They win the fight despite the engage. Well, I don't like Shen ulting Alistar, even though you want to get into the team. Apollo pays for it because there's no Shen shield left to shield him from Ninja's ultimate. Sindra finds another kill. They want a three versus four, though. And Xiao Wei, Xiao Cleanse, but it'll still that a Hemo Plague. Re engage from Impact, takes one back, taunts away. Gate has no ulti, so he's going to get killed as well. And another fight won by Team Dragon Knights. Some hubris from Impulse. Condemn, sorry, uh, Cocoon just barely misses from Kez. Good luck, Ninja. Oh! oh Flash! Sarah kills him out! Takes down his countrymen, and now out goes TDK, running and running and running. They got a dragon, and I think five kills to two. Sounds that high, but you consider his team's lost most of those. Oh! Good. Emperor on a ward. Goodbye, right. picked off. Dragon's back up right now, though, TIP. Looking for the third one. Movement speed for these guys. Impact jumping over the wall to make that happen. Yep. Dragon number three here. Smoothie could give him a journey into the pit. Yep. Kez not close enough. But Apollo caught out, Shenalty's on, but how good is the damage going to be? A big burst on a half HP gets out, Ninja saves the ulti. I think he might have been able to kill Apollo. If he had gone for it, Bartley can only it. Shao Wei Shao. No stuns landing into the back lane, goes Sarah. Whoa! Apollo does go down, Shockwave whiffs! Ninja walks away from it, this could be a great play for TDK. Gate disrupted the front line, pops the ultimate. True Silver Bolt's going to really chunk him out. They got him! Two kills pick, Kez still chasing impact. A nice kickback by Rush, but Kez still fighting the enemy top laner. All damage, baby. Who needs tanks? <laughs> yep. Vladimir gets health if you build AP. TIP does, apparently, though. They're not tanky enough. And now TDK. Oh, God, though. A lot of burst. Dodges the Q. Oh, he did not show a show. Got to outplay him the backside. Forcing the flash out. It's a two for one, all said and done. But now I don't think TDK can bear it. TDK? And his AD carries keep stealing away the scuttler from their jungler. This makes me kind of sad, but. Baron setting out 32 minutes in. This will be the second Baron for Team Impulse. They didn't get a hole off the first one. They're only up one turret overall. Emperor died during the replay. This is a four versus five. Oh, wow. Yeah, Emperor was picked off. That's actually a really big deal. DIP still putting the damage in. Gate is low. Does not have his ulti. Bard ulti does not hit much of anything. Apollo in the front line. Seraph buying some time. Oh, oh. Great shockwave. And goodbye to Ninja. Seraph on the run. Kez tries to kill Gate. The Vlad ulti will buy some time, but it's still multiple kills picked up. That'll be the third. A great fight for TIP. This should be their Baron. Smoothie, the hero. Hero? Rush is, Rush is running interference here. Doesn't want to let him in. Fireman. Shh, shh. Here we go. Here's the... Watch this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yay! <laughs> Moody gets his game a ring around the rosy. And Impulse get their final kill. <laughs> uh, I love watching people chase Bard through the jungle. Would it be autobiography? Yeah, he's writing it in Chinese. About himself, though? It's about when he kills enemies like enemy champions, though. Today, I stole Rush. another soul. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Goodbye, Emperor. Rush still alive somehow, but one kill was picked back up as they took down Gate. But Ninja on the run gets taunted. Nicely done by Impact. Not enough damage to be dealt. Great dodge. And Kez is going to try to pick up Rush. He's going to try. He's going to get him. But it's still a massive fight. One, four to two for an Impulse. They're going to get the fifth. They trade another kill for it. But a double kill for the Sivir means this is going to be the game. And Team Impulse will keep the streak running. Gate, the new support, is 1-0 and oh in the North American LCS. His first game on the big stage. TDK, they made it look fun. They made it look pretty. They maybe got themselves some new fans. But this season is still only one win for them. And Impulse moved and get their 11th win. Seven in a row in the last half of the split with two to play. Well, that was a fun game. Yeah. <laughs>
to let the other guys push that, and they even teleport Cali Trolls in. Sapling aside, knock down this turret. Haunter showing up without flash without ulti is not going to be a big threat. Corpus though, Whoa! oh, did not expect that. The Vialti tags, no reason to be there. Great pickup for Gravity. Freak. With the move trying to face check around Baron, he does get caught this time. Kali goes in, a lot of damage. Ulti and then his pile drive move down. He goes to the very start. Oh, can they finish the poke? No, yes, no, they can't. Out they go. Haunter <laughs> wants in. He's got the ulti available. Doesn't go in just yet. Stun pushed up the wall. Nia takes him down. Perfectly played. Three kills, all of them on the end. The Super Mega Death Rockets dodged and right, they're, they're gonna, gonna try, try and bring it down. Keen's out of mana. He cannot help here. He's got a blue buff and it's gonna regen on the way, but the Baron's going down too quickly. Move's gonna be in range. He's got flash! Oh, oh no! Oh, the early snipe by Pinnacus! <laughs> the Baron gets stolen and Cali throws like the move get out. They might pick up the kill, but Baron for gravity. Oh no. Alright. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Move trying to run away. Oh, a rocket to the side. He ults in onto Dodo. Not gonna happen. Burst comes through. Nian on a rampage. Five, why you four. spy your wolf camp, freak? Kelly shows Oh, a flank. Oh, he caught a key. Oh, this is gonna be but there's pretty no damage scary. On oh, the Bronx Q. There's a bit of damage coming across, but they're gonna find Move again. His fourth death of the game. Kelly will still take it up at the front line. Azir zones back the back line. Haunts are forced to flash. Rocket means nothing. Zap slows him down. And another pickup here. Oh, that's a javelin hit. Keen, 1v5. Get it. Golden glue, 1v1. How about a 1v4? No, how about a 1v2? Take that answer. Not quite, but still two kills picked up. And I've seen this play once a little while back, a few years ago. They all bought home guard boots. Everyone who could afford it, only Golden glue didn't. They rushed for Baron. Here comes steal attempt number two, though. Moves around. How well can they zone him out? He stole the last one. All right, you're up, move. Can he do it? Dodo does not have an ulti. More damage. Golden Glue knocks everyone back, but it's still an available Baron. 3,000 health. Move's it's gonna queue. Knocked back by Trist. He doesn't it's have Flash. This should be theirs. Oh my god, you are <laughs> kidding me! You have got to be kidding me! Two kills and Baron again. I... <laughs> All right, oh. I'm delirious now. What is going on? Goodbye, Cali Trolls. What is going on? Oh, oh, dear lord. They're trying to make a Whoa. play, though. Bunny Foo Foo hit up pretty hard. The stun lands. That's the kill. In the end gets his fifth of the game. All right, 4v5 defense now for Gravity. Looks like Baron will be the All catalyst right. for that final team fight. Number team made a little three. slow here. Cali walking up. He does not have teleport. And they're getting poked out. Keen does not have a blue buff. Half HP on Baron already. Golden Glue over the wall doing a bit of damage to Cali. The fight arrives. They got to go Still in. Still happening. They're going to try what they can. Golden Glue in the front line, but he gets popped up in front of Baron. Can't pop a Zonas or anything. Porpoise Pop stuck with Baron now as well. In the end, now running, running away. But Cali Jones gets the shutdown. All tick is dead, but Keen trades one back. No way to carry up the live, but there's still a mid laner here. Move doing some damage. Porpoise wants him. He wants revenge for the steals, and Cali Trolls gets the second kill of the fight, and it continues. Keen stunned up. A whole chunk of damage. Porpoise with the shutdown. Still alive. Oh, Barely. Dear. The Cathian surprise, but no one's shocked here. Dodo still tanking. Hanser still dealing the damage. They do knock him down. It's a four for three. The stun won't land. Cali Trolls on the run. A fight still won by gravity. That fight was so long, Hanser went Meganar twice during it. What? <laughs> he was Meganar when he was in the Baron pit and just got here to finish off as well. Cali gonna try and stop him though. He's gonna clear this wave fairly well and takes a bunch of damage, but there's a banner of command keeping that cannon minion alive for a while. But it will allow most of the team to respawn Golden Glue. <laughs> <laughs> well, his flash is down. They stop the Q. It's fine. Oh! oh he got it. it. Moves gonna die. Porpoise yeah. pops the Zonias to stay alive. This could be a very good fight for Team Eight. Just kidding. No it's Golden Glue down. Poke. Golden Glue's gone. Oh! The All Tech Rock gets the second kill. And Baron or not, Team Eight get they, wrecked in that fight. They got the Baron, and they're gonna lose an inhibitor. What a bittersweet. Victory for teammate. They finally secure a Baron with their AD carry. Uh, good luck, Nian. Yeah, yeah. And he was going to try to buy time, though. I mean, Hunter's chasing him. Hunter's not going to win that fight. He bought a lot of magic resist. They, I mean, they just want to delay so they don't lose the yeah. game here is what he's trying to pull off. Can't kill Altec fast enough. Kelly throws in the front line, takes a big chunk of damage. Dodo blocks some of it, but Concer is going to land a stun in the front line. Ulti's going to land on a few guys. Altec slowed, but still safe with the shields on him. The turret's oh. going to be dropping. 
and an easy run away. Gravity, they're gonna take the victory and leave here. Oh no, the oh, end of the what are you doing? Gone. Picked off over the wall by Haunter and all second, suddenly, suddenly a 5v4 with no AD carry, two inhibitors down. This could be the game right now for Gravity. Turret number one and turret number two, both at half HP. Rocket's still coming in for all tech. Nexus turret is gone. Wow, how anticlimactic. <laughs> it gets picked and uh, Gravity are just gonna take out the Nexus turrets here. The barrage from Keen still up. He's almost out of mana now, actually. Keeping track of his pool. Still 40 seconds on the Tristana coming back though. And here comes Hans, who's gonna land some stuns, gonna do plenty of damage. Move goes in towards Porpoise. Zonia's pop, but Calitrol's gonna lose his life. He can't quite kill off Move. This will be the game winning push. This will be the kills coming through. That's everyone going down. Only Dota left in the fountain. There's the game in 48 minutes. Gravity, hold on to first place. Man. All right, so. Move is good at smiting.